In this video, I'm going to show you how to use OBS Studio Studio Mode. Deliver your value. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and if you want to deliver your value through online video, consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Hello everyone, and thank you once again for joining us for this OBS tutorial. This is going to be a super simple tutorial on how to use OBS Studio Studio Mode. Now, if you're not familiar with Studio Mode, it's pretty simple to get into, and it's really powerful in trying to uh, help deliver a professional live stream. So we're right here, we're taking a look at the default view that you're gonna see when you're in OBS. Obviously, your scene is going to look a little bit different, but we have our main panel up here. We have our scenes down here on the left. To the right of those, we have sources. You got your audio in the middle, and then you have your controls on the right. And you may or may not have noticed there is a button called Studio Mode. Now, I don't know if you've investigated what's behind that button, but we're going to take a look in this video, show you exactly how to use it and why it can be so powerful uh, to give you that professional look in your live streams. All right, so if you just click on the studio mode button, it is going to give you two panes. Now, don't fear, this isn't really complicated. I'm gonna show you exactly what uh, this is all about and how you actually use it during your live stream. All right, so there's two screens, two panels that you're seeing, one on the left, one on the right. The right is actually the live view. That is what's going to be uh, streamed to YouTube. That is the screen that people are going to see. The one on the left is kind of a preview or staging uh, screen that allows you to bring up the next scene that you wanna share uh, on your live stream. So it would work something like this. For me, when I kick off a live stream, I usually have my thumbnail up there uh, as we roll into the first couple minutes to give everybody time to get into the live stream, uh, get their snacks ready and get comfortable uh, for the next couple hours. On the left hand side, that is where we're actually going to stage uh, the first transition that we're gonna do. So for me, uh, this is the actual view that you would normally see once I go live, but I can bring this up on the left hand side. I can make sure everything looks good. If it's not, I can actually make tweaks. You can see I can click over here on any of these elements and I can kind of tweak them and get them ready before they go live if I need to. Uh, otherwise, I get my video display here on the left and my thumbnail on the right before the stream goes live. And then once the stream goes live, whether you're doing a voiceover on uh, that uh, thumbnail or however it is that you guys kick off your live streams that's there that's fine you can simply turn on your your microphone down here to do that part but then when you're ready to go live with the video uh, you just click on one of your transitions now I believe um, there's uh, not sure what the default transitions are there but you can actually go in here and set up really quick transitions fade uh, 300 milliseconds 600 milliseconds um, and it's just a fade that transitions from one screen to the next so uh, for me when the time rolls around nine o'clock uh, Eastern uh, every Wednesday night I click this button right here and we roll into the live stream and I can say hey everybody thank you so much for coming to the live stream uh, we're here every Wednesday night 9 p.m. Eastern and what actually uh, happened there is whatever uh, screen you put on the left hand side that is the one that you're going to transition over so if you are on your live stream and you're talking from this screen and you have something else that you want to bring up uh, say at some point during your live stream you actually want to bring in a sponsor uh, then it's a great opportunity while you're talking to your audience to kind of stage that over on your left hand side and then you can be like and hey guys don't forget this video was sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free and there's a link in the description below. And basically all you do, super simple, you just leave your cursor on there if you wanna be able to look at the camera while you're actually talking and you don't wanna be fumbling around to find your transition or anything like that or even shaking your camera like I was just doing. Uh, it's a great way to make those smooth transitions, make it look like you know what you're doing, make it look like you have a professional live stream. Uh, and it just adds a lot to the video. If you're just on screen the entire time uh, with no transitions, I mean, yeah, in a lot of cases you can make that look fairly decent, but I think it just adds something extra when you can transition in and out. Maybe you're doing some type of educational material and you wanna bring in some slides that have some information on them. All those things are super powerful and it makes it that much more easy easier and uh, you know to achieve by having the double panes here where you can stage what's coming next because the last thing you want to do is accidentally throw up 
a uh, a screen or a scene that you weren't planning on, then you got to fumble around to try to get it off the screen, and uh, that doesn't look good or professional. So uh, the OBS Studio Studio Mode is just a really neat way to be able to kind of prep stuff before it goes live. You get to see it on the left uh, before that actually happens, so you can have confidence when you click that transition button and bring it in for everybody to see. Have you guys used studio mode yet? Let me know in the comments below. And if there's other features on OBS you'd like me to dive into and give you a tutorial to help you make your live streams more professional, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'll be checking them out as soon as this video goes live and uh, maybe your comment will uh, turn out to be the next video. So thank you guys so much. If you want to deliver your value through online video, definitely consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier, and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.